Hey you guys, it's Shannon Rose, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a favorites haul of all, I don't know why I get so excited, of all of some of my favorite things for like the past few months. And if anyone's wondering, on my lips, I'm wearing Dradium by Lime Crime. It's the actual lipstick. But I have quite a few things and these are pretty awesome. This is probably one of my favorite favorites videos. Now, if you have seen my phone, you would know that I've literally had the same case on my phone for like over a year probably. And I decided it was time to get some new phone cases. I'm really into like marble and just like neutral colors, even though I'm wearing like not neutral at all. But normally, yeah, this is what I like and these are so cool. I got them from Zafool. I will be linking everything down below. So if you're interested in getting any of this stuff, I will link it below. But yeah, thank you to Zafool. Also from Zafool, I got a really cool outfit and I'll put that in here, like a picture of it because it's really actually comfortable and it's like perfect for fall time. Does anybody know what this is? This is the Spark DJI drone. By the way, this is not sponsored. They did send this to me um, and I'm really surprised that they did because because I'm not good at flying drones. I'm like a novice and I crashed this thing on my very first flight, but it's really cool. You can actually control it with your hand and it's a great uh, drone for taking like selfies and you can actually fly this indoors. It's like the tiniest, cutest little drone ever and it's just really fun to play with. So yeah, this is probably one of my favorites because who doesn't like playing with a drone? Also, um, I got this backpack, which is also, pff, I literally want to just smack myself with one of these things um, that I am was wearing in that picture that I just showed. This is from JW Pay, and I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a cruelty-free um, backpack. It's super cute, it's really well made, and uh, I just love it, so I wanted to share that with you. Also in that picture, I was wearing this hat, which is from Charming Charlie. I love the colors. Anyway, love this hat from Charming Charlie, and I think it's just so perfect for fall time, and to like match your like, eyeshadow colors to it, it's just really fun. So, love the hat. Ooh, there's so many things like I wanna show you that are so cool in this. Okay, so this is another really cool thing. This is from a, a website called CN Direct. I'm doing a whole Halloween haul and this is actually gonna be in that haul. Um, but this mask is so cool, it's like very Ariana Grande and I just think it'd be really fun to wear this for Halloween, so. Uh, I really liked that. Next is from Angela Roy. If you guys don't know Angela Roy, it is like a high-end, ethical, all cruelty-free, vegan, um, like hand, like luxury handbags. Um, and they sent me this bag and I just about died. Are you kidding? This is gorgeous. Again, all cruelty-free uh, and it's so well made and it's massive. Are you kidding? I have the Eleanor bag from them and I, I use it every day. And now I'm so glad that I have this big one because I, even though I love the Eleanor bag, sometimes I overflow it and I need like a bigger bag. So I love this and it's just so well made. You know it's gonna last a long time. It comes with a dust bag. Um, and then I also got a matching wallet. This wallet is gorgeous. It feels nice, it's just, it's perfect to hold everything. I love wallets that zip up. I think they're safer so you don't lose like money and like credit cards and stuff. And I just pop it in my little bag and I am on my way. And I, I just absolutely love this bag so much. And I love that it's cruelty free, but it's also really nice, you know? Okay, next on my list is the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Cleanser. So I love the Glam Glow, Glam Glow, the Glam Glow Super Mud Mask. It's my favorite mask of all time. Um, and they just came out with new cleansers. There's actually a jelly balm cleanser I haven't used yet, but I have used this and I really like it. It reminds me so much of the Super Mud Clean, uh, super mud mask that they have. Yeah, it's just, I really like it. So I wanted to add it into my favorites. Okay, next up I have some stuff from BH Cosmetics. The Shan XO palette. I don't know if you guys have seen this or not. It is beautimous. I love all these shades. I think that they're so perfect for fall time. Lots of neutral shades. It's good for like the everyday. It's kind of like an everyday palette. And um, I just, I love Shan XO. I think she's so cute and um, really good at makeup. So I was excited to be able to get this palette. Oh my God, how did I not even know that there was another side to it? Okay, so I know that she made a makeup or um, uh, an eyeshadow palette. I just turned it around and I literally, it still has a plastic on it and realized that there's a lipstick palette. How did I not even know this? 
I'm a fake ass beauty guru, that's why. <laughs> I can't believe it comes with this. Okay, I just got so much more excited. I can't wait. Okay, this is awesome. Everybody needs to get this palette. Just stop what you're doing, go get this right now. That is so cool. I can't, I'm so excited. <coughs> Choking over here. So excited about that. Okay, the next thing from Beach Cosmetics that I absolutely love, and everybody needs to uh, try this at least once, is BH Cosmetics lashes, like false eyelashes, are the most comfortable lashes I've ever worn. I honestly forget that I even have them on, and they go on so easily. You know how like, some eyelashes are a pain in the ass to get on? These are not, and I really, really would recommend them. Um, and they're so reasonably priced. They're not like super expensive, like a lot of the lashes that are like really good on the market. They're reasonable and they're awesome. Um, my favorites are in D302. These are D303s, but you girl, you gotta try these, okay? Next up are the Ashley Tisdale. I haven't even taken these ones out of their packaging yet. These are the Ashley Tisdale brushes. They're green. I think that they're so fun, especially because like Christmas time is coming up for like the holiday season. And even if you don't celebrate Christmas, you celebrate Hanukkah, like, and blue is your holiday color. It doesn't matter. Like these are just so fun and festive. Like you could think like Halloween, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, I really love BH Cosmetics brushes. In fact, there's another one, um, their marble collection of BH Cosmetics brushes um, that I have are like my go-to brushes. They're so reasonably priced, they're soft, and they do like a better job than the expensive brushes do. So. I'm, I'm gonna link um, the marble collection down below and the um, Ashley Tisdale collection of brushes below and you should try them because they're really good and they're really inexpensive. Since we're on a makeup roll here, um, I was gifted this subculture palette by one of you guys, Diane, if you're watching, I love this palette. I know there was a lot of controversy with this palette when it came out, um, the Anastasia subculture palette. But to be honest, I didn't have any issues with it. I did it. I did see that there was a little bit more fallout than usual, but like the colors are so pigmented that you don't need to like put a bunch on your brush. You just really just tap it a little bit um, and you get a bunch of pigment on there. So I really like this. I've used this. Um, if you check out some of my pictures on Instagram, you'll see some of the looks I did with this palette and they came out really beautiful and I just have been really happy with it. So I wanted to add it to my favorites. Another um, palette, I feel like it's been Christmas this month because I was gifted so many, <laughs> so many makeup things. Um, this palette was given to me by Autumn and she's such a sweetheart. I have wanted the Jaclyn Hill palette since it came out and it has been sold out and I opened my mail and I opened one of my packages and I got this and I just about died. I. <laughs> Uh, was so happy that I got this and the subculture palette. Like these two palettes were like, I was so happy about it. I can't even tell you how excited I was. And I love this palette as well. It's so much fun. I love the colors. You you know me, I'm, a, I'm obsessed with makeup. So super happy about that. And then I also got the Carity, the new Carity palette. Um, they came out with a Unicorn Dreams palette and then also a palette called Just Peachy. I have both of them. Again, on my Instagram, I have looks with the Just Peachy palette and I really like both of them, but I wanted to put this one of my favorites because I plan on doing some fun Halloween looks with these colors. I don't think these colors I would normally like, well, maybe I would, I don't know. I just feel like this is like a great palette for Halloween time, so I'm excited to use that. Um, okay, last two makeup things, I promise. Um, Ico has this mascara and I'm like a mascara snob. Cruelty free, all these things are cruelty free by the way. Um, cruelty free and vegan and I really like this. I have like little baby lashes. Well, I have eyelash extensions, but like my lower lashes are little baby lashes <laughs> and it's so hard for like me to have them come up even with mascara. And this stuff, it like um, really gives volume and definition. So I love this mascara, it works really well. And then also from Ico, they have this three in one brush. It's the coolest thing, you guys. Um, it's like, I feel like it's like a little weapon. <laughs> you like pull it out and it's got like a brush here, has a brush here, and then you pull it apart this way and it has a brush here. So it's a three in one brush. It's great for traveling. And my favorite is the Define side. I use this to go underneath my lower lash line um, with eyeshadow and I love it. Wow, it is a weapon, watch out. And then last but not least, um, I got this wig from Donna Love Hair. And it came with this cool little like wig brush, which I thought was really nice. 
And I have been wanting lavender hair for a while, you guys, and I tried this wig on, I'm just about dyed. Are you kidding? I love this color. I really wanna dye my hair this color. Um, and I did like a vote on my Patreon on what you guys, what color you want me to see, like lavender or pink, and you guys said lavender. So I think after my mom's wedding, I might dye my hair lavender for a little bit because I think it would be really fun. But in the meantime, I have this wig and I'm gonna be doing some uh, a fun, makeup and costume like DIY tutorials on my beauty channel so make sure you subscribe for that and you can see there's a little theme going on with <laughs> can anybody guess what I'm gonna be doing for Halloween um, that's just one of my looks I'm gonna do anyway that is my favorites video I hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget I will be linking everything down below if you guys are interested and want to be twinning with me uh, thank you again for watching I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video Mwah!